Hello and welcome to the Malaket Editor video. The program looks like this. You can just drop it up right onto your desktop. And then you need this, which is a folder that you're going to drop right onto your C drive. This is where all of your sysx files are stored. When you open up the program, you'll see that the files that you had here automatically show up there. And we'll show you how that works. Now, once you open up the program, you can stretch it out to make it as clear as you like to fit your screen. Okay, looking at the program itself, what you're seeing here are all of the 128 setups that are in the Malacat. Now, when you find a sysx dump that you want to use, let's say the Ketron, you just get it and you drop it right here and instantly all the names pop right up. Now, what most people will do, probably the simplest way to use this program is to just find that sound that you're looking for and put it where you want. So this is number one, number two, three, four, five, all the way up to 127. You can just quickly set up the programs that you want in the order that you want and then send it right back to the Malacat by just saying send all kits or send all memory. You can also save them on the hard drive. In order for the Malacat to talk to each other, we have to set up a MIDI interface between the Malacat and the program. Now, when you plug a MIDI audio interface or just a MIDI interface or MIDI USB cable, you need to assign the USB interface for both the input and the output. Meaning, from the Malacat, MIDI out, you plug it in, the MIDI input shows you the interface, and then the output of the computer goes to the MIDI interface, and that goes to the MIDI in of the Malacat. When this is set up, you'll be able to save files back and forth to the kit, and also grab files from the memory, like here, for example, and then send it down to the Malacat. Now, the next interesting thing is that if you install any of the new software that we have that has, that has the control, it means that the Malacat automatically sends a program change to these numbers so that if you wanted to jump to 37 and you go to 37 on the Malacat, it instantly will take you there for editing. And that's called performance mode. So this means that when you're playing live, you don't have to be looking at the little screen. You could just be changing your kits on the Malacat and it will take you right there. So you could just look at that and know where you are as you're working. The other thing that people use, and this is probably the other most used feature of the Malacat is to create a chain. And a chain is a collection of 16 of your favorite setups in the order that you want. So step one of chain one can be this, like that. And you can do it any way that you want. And there are 16 chains in the Malacat, 16 by 16. And again, you just say that down by sending it to the Malacat or to the computer. And now you can create chains. Really simple, a lot different from the old days. The heart of the program is the kit edit function. And the kit edit function basically has all the basic things that you need to control the three layers that are in the Malacat. Every one of the kits in the Malacat has layer one, layer two, and layer reassign. Layer one is your main keyboard. And that's the one that you will use mostly as your main sounds because you won't be using the sustain two pedal to call up the other sound. And what you need to do is here you assign the channel, the program number, the bank number, the octave that you want, the volume, the minimum velocity, maximum velocity, whether the gate time is a set amount of time or whether it is a, a velocity control gate and then you have a when you hit it soft, it's this, and when you hit it loud, it's that. 
Then you have roll mode, whether it's on or off, whether the sound is polyphonic or monophonic or special RTC modes, and whether it's going into the, the rear MIDI out or the side MIDI out jack. The rear MIDI out jack is the internal. That's when we had the sounds built in. And the external is for the side MIDI jack. And layer two is the exact same thing as that, only that now you put that underneath and you access that by stepping on the hang foot switch. The reassignment layer is a special layer where you can change any note to any note and you can turn it on and off of the kit. We'll get into that in a second. So the real big question is, okay, so now I have layer one and layer two assigned. How do I control how they're going to be used? And that's where the layer mode comes in. When the instrument is in hang, that is the normal mode. And that means that when you step on the sustain one foot switch, you get this sound. And when you step on the sustain two foot switch, you get this sound. And the reason why we call it hang is because it's possible to set the gay time on the hang to infinity. And when you have it set to infinity, the sound will continue to hang on until you step on the foot switch again. We also have the ability to have a latch with the controlling loops and some other special functions we can get into later. The next feature is called, what well, we'll get to that, is called double. And double is simply a layering of the two sounds at the same time. So when you're stepping on the foot switch, they both play at the same time, or they could sustain at the same time, depending on how you set up the pedals the sustain pedals, for example, foot switch one can sustain both layer one and layer two, or just layer one, and then the sustain two can be layer two. So you have those kinds of controls. And now you have this other mode called split. And split always drove people a little crazy on the Malacat because it's kind of hard to figure out. Layer one is on this side of the instrument. And that means that when you set a split point for layer one, you are picking the lowest. So let's say I'm going to say this is my lowest. So layer one will play from here to here. Now layer two has a split point two, and I'm going to put that here. So now this means that if you look at the instrument, you see that this is one layer here, and this is another layer here and they're split right here. If I wanted to overlap the split, I would click here, and let's say I wanted the bottom, the layer two, to go to here. So now you can see that layer two is going from here up to here. And you see that they're overlapping. That's why you see that different area. Same thing if I went to the layer one and I put that here to here, now we have an, all these notes that are overlaying. Let's say that we wanted to have a dead spot on the instrument because we needed to have a reassignment working in the middle. Well, I could go here and I would click this note. I would go here and I would click this note. And now what we see is that we have layer two here. We have nothing assigned here. And then we have on the right side, we have the layer one. And this is really important later when you want to have a reassignment where you can assign those other notes right here. And this is what makes the Malacat so powerful. So the other things to know about this is that, again, you have control of where the MIDI is being routed to, the rear MIDI out or the side MIDI out, how you want the sustain pedals to work, where a foot switch is sustaining just the one layer or both layers, and then you have foot controllers. Remember in the back, you have a whole bunch of foot switches. The first one is the sustain one. The second one is the edit foot switch. The third one is sustain two. Then you have foot controllers. And this is where you can assign any controller number, including volume or pitch brand or expression, whatever, right on here. So that's the bulk of the kit edit. And again, you can just send it down to Pike you can save it, and that's how the kit edit works. There are some other special features in the kit parameters called dampen, normal, aftertouch, and dead stroke. 
normal means that when you play the instrument you strike it when you step on a sustain pedal it sends out a sustain message which is control of 64. now when you set the instrument to dampen the sustain pedal no longer sends out control of 64 but what it does instead is suppresses note offs until you let go of the pedal but that allows you to use a dampened gesture on a particular pad any pad to just stop that note from playing alternate mode has been doing this and cat has been doing this way back from the late 1980s dampening is so special now the dead stroke is just like the dampen stroke but instead of dampening the note it plays layer two when you do the dampen gesture now the aftertouch is not really good for mallets it's when you're using your hands and you want to put pressure on the pad after you strike it in order to get the aftertouch to send out aftertouch data and that doesn't work good with sticks because the sticks bounce but that's good only when you're using your hand pressure so that's another important thing to know regarding how to use the pressure mode Perhaps one of the most interesting features of the Malacat is the ability to use the reassignment mode. And the reassignment mode is when you can assign any note on the instrument to any note that you want on any channel. So you can completely fill up this instrument with unique note numbers on different channels for percussion assignment. And you can set up 13 of them. The 14th one is actually program changes that a special reassignment that automatically sends out program change numbers instead of note numbers. But aside from that, the 13 assignments, you can call up and create your own special note number arrangements. So once you've done all this work and you have your assignment set up, now you have to assign it to a kit. Each kit has its own assignment layer. There are 127 kits, but there are only 14 reassignments. So you call up the reassignment that you want, and then you tell the Malacat how you want to use this reassignment. If off, it means it's just sitting there, nothing is set. If you set it for combine, combine means that it's going to play layer one, layer two, and the reassignment all on top of each other. Remember before when I showed you that special split mode where I would have, let's say, here on layer one, I would do this, and on layer two, I would, I would do this, and I would assign the reassignment here. So we have three different assignments all on the same layer. Another way to use the instrument is to have it in replace mode. Replace mode gets rid of the layer one and instead uses this on top of the main layer. You still have the ability to use layer two and the reassignment together when you use the double mode. So it gives you lots of different possibilities. It's also possible to have the layer go out on one set of MIDI jacks and the layer two go out on a different one. You also have the ability within each of the 127 kits to offset the octave so you you can change the octave up or down an octave on each one or just into half steps you can also control you can send out a program change so that you can control what program you want sent on these reassignment layers so this makes the kit way more powerful and exciting to use Did you know that the Malacat can be used as a control surface? When you click on the assignments, you have something called RTC, which means real time control. That's controlled in this box. And what that means is that the black keys on these octaves, when you strike it, actually can send out a controller number on any channel with a range and when you play on the white keys this becomes the minimum and this becomes 
the maximum so you can control them narrow the range for example I could make this 19 and I can make this 106 so that's 19 all the way up to 126 and you can control when you strike this pad it sends out the values that you do that by playing on these pads and there's actually on the Malakat itself you can actually control the speed at which it goes from point A to point B and you have all of these that you can control that's a lot that means you can be controlling a mixing console the volumes on a mixing console or you can be controlling an LFO on a synthesizer or some of those special effects in Ableton Live where you can actually move around um, uh, like a forward and backwards and and uh, little controls for changing the uh, filters or something that's what this thing can do and after you assign what controller numbers that you want on each of these you can also assign a reset value so that when you leave when you go from this one to this one this can send out a, a value which is normally zero so that you don't have too many things flying in the air so once you assign that you go into your kit and you turn on the RTC mode and the RTC mode now becomes active where on either layer one or layer two or both when you hit that black key it sends out a controller value based on what pad you strike on the white keys now you can also do an XY kind of a thing where the RTC is controlling values from left to right when you strike this but now you can also as you strike the pad from soft to hard you can have velocity sending out a different controller number on a different channel so you can be basically getting on every single pad that you're playing a value from the controller and a value from how hard you are playing and you set that up by assigning in the kit edit RTC plus velocity now it's also possible on layer 2 to set up something called a PTW which is a pitch wheel and the pitch wheel is really cool because it allows you to play on layer one and then when you step on the layer two foot switch which is the sustain two foot switch when you strike a white key it bends the note it sends out pitch wheel data and it's automatic there's nothing that you need to do here by just assigning this to pitch wheel whenever you step on the sustain two foot switch and you hit a white key it moves the bend the pitch bend up or down depending from the center point which is probably here and then this brings the pitch down and this brings the pitch up and then when you let go of the foot switch it goes back to zero that's a really cool feature to use a tip on that is that when you do assign a ptw on the layer make sure the gate time is not too long keep it short so that it, it returns to zero quickly and then if you want to get even fancier, we have controller CTL A B and C where you can actually assign when you step on the foot pedal of, of layer 2 the sustain two foot switch you can actually send out a distinct value that you assign some of these more esoteric features like controlling the control of these are not in this program I wanted to keep the the interface kind of clean and keep away some of the uh, esoteric stuff that you can still access of course by just going into the Malakat screens that's especially true for things like training training doesn't belong here you need to do that on the instrument but we did add a couple of little things like turning the beeper on or off or changing memory protection or getting the user from chain to factory to user kits by just doing that and then sending it down the pike so this is the basic video on the editor there's a full-blown manual online that has references to the actual Malakat manual and we hope that this helps you enjoy the Malakat with our new Malakat editor